Well, you know, if you guys feel anything like I do, you know, about 11 o'clock this morning when I got my email um, and what happened over in Squirrel Hill, I mean, there's a lot more important things in a football game, I can tell you that. Um, you know, our, our kids were maybe affected by it. I mean, saw our kids on their phones in our pregame meals and, and, uh, and talking about it. Um, you know, my, my, my prayers, this football team's prayers, our family's prayers go out to the victims, um, to the SWAT team and the police officers of Pit, uh, Pittsburgh, um, and to, to all the families that are affected by that. Just a, um, a tough deal, um, one that, you know, you see it happening, you know, in Florida and you see it happening wherever. And then when it hits you right in your backyard, it just makes you, you wonder. Um, my kids were about a half mile from that at the time. Um, so, you know, my first thing I'm doing before the game is, is texting my kids to make sure they stay in the house and don't leave. So, um, and I'm sure a lot of our players uh, were worried about their families and how close they were to it. And um, just my heart and prayers go out to, to everybody. So, um, with that being said, you know, we won a football game today. Um, you know, uh, you know, I thought offensively we were explosive, uh, ran the ball well, made big passes when we had. I mean, Kenny Pickett, the French, uh, two big plays that uh, you know uh, that we needed, and then you know we really did some maybe some overhauls to a two minute last week. I mean, uh, I guess the open week coming out of Notre Dame when we didn't make some plays in overtime um, offensively, we did overtime and, and got after it pretty good uh, against each other, and obviously it paid off today. Uh, got ourselves in field goal range and then took a shot, and and uh, you know great catch, great throw, great protection, and um, you know we were able to pull it out. You know, obviously, defensively, I'll, I'll, you know, <laughs> you know, talk about. It. I mean, obviously, Daniel Jones is a good football player. Um, obviously, a bad day to play defense. I don't know if anybody plays defense anymore, but you know, disappointing the way our defense played. Um, but we've been there before. I mean, Jerry, you tell me every week, you know, that's the best defensive effort a week ago. And I told you, you get measured on where you are this Saturday, and it wasn't very good. Um, but I just hope they're saving it for for next week. So, um, you know, we'll go back to work. Uh, we got a short week. We got Virginia on. Um, we got Virginia on uh, on Friday night, and um, we got a lot of work to do. So, with that, I'll open it up for questions. That last that touchdown pass is that does Sean say let's take a shot? Do you say let's take a shot? Who makes that? Yeah, um, you know, we, we kind of do it together. But you know, it was you know it was either run it, try to set up in the middle, and then you know and then clock it and kick the kick the field goal, or take a shot. I mean, it was kind of we we thought about both. And we said, heck, let's go for the end zone, go for the win. Um, we felt like Kessman was good from where we were to whatever yard line that was, 30-yard 30, 30 line, I think we are. Um, so, uh, obviously, a lot of big plays made, you know, in that series from Darren Hall's screen, you know, on, on the P and 10, I believe, you know, down the sideline and out of bounds. So, uh, just great execution. It hadn't been a great day for Kenny until that point. I mean, what, the, what do you feel like that drive says about his resiliency as, as a young player? And, and come through in that, that uh, like I said, Kenny is a strong kid, and you know whether it's you know Taysir Mack played a little bit today. He's not a hundred percent, obviously, and um, and he didn't practice much this week either. So hopefully we'll get to practice a little bit next week and and be a little bit more even more explosive with him. But uh, you know Kenny Pickett's a you know he's a dude. Um, you know I'll, I'll I'll go to any you know any extent with that guy. Uh, he's a competitor. I mean he thinks some you know. Uh, some of the scrambles he had, some of the big time scrambles he had for first downs, or you know, to get us uh, out of a, out of a hole. I mean, he did a you know he did a great job. Probably the most disappointing thing was really that that last series, I believe, where we had to kick a field goal. We got two penalties, you know, a late hit by Maurice, and uh, and then a holding by by well by one of our offensive linemen. Um, but uh, you know, those are things. We're, you know, we're at the eight yard line. Matter of fact, we score and we got a hold, and then we get backed up, and pretty soon it's second and eighteen or something. So. Um, but you know we found a way to get it done, and it's a team win. Like I said, some, some days it's the offense holding up the defense, and the defense holding up the offense. But we stuck together, no matter what. And I think our defense at least played a better fourth quarter. How do you sort of explain Malik Carter's day from his usage previously in the season to today? To Malik who? I don't know, number nineteen. Well, I, I you know I told uh, I told the TV crew on Friday morning that hey, be, watch out for Malik Carter. And you know, goes into those four games, you know, and if if he keeps doing that for the next three, he'll be playing a fifth too, uh, maybe a sixth. But uh, he uh, he's a, he's explosive. I mean, he's obviously a DB, um, and you know, we, we really found him out. I mean, he was okay on defense. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of communication and things you need to know. Um, but we put him on as a scout team tailback first couple of weeks. We're like, holy cow, this guy's explosive. Um, you just saw what he did with the ball in his hand, and he always held on to it. He never fumbled. 
Um, it was just like, whew. so we've been thinking about it for you know a while here. We've you know kind of saved it a little bit for the ACC play, but he's explosive, he's fast, and obviously he'll get a few more carries next week. Given how, uh, how Carter played today, I mean, how much are, are you guys planning on on, uh, on using him moving forward? And is the possibility of, of a full time uh, position switch something? That what do you think? I mean, we'll go we'll go, go recruit another DB, and uh, you know, you got to score points to win nowadays. Uh, that's the name of the game, and uh, that guy's explosive. And you know, he you know, I told him. I told him before it happened. I told him on Friday he came in early. You know, he's in Coach Sherman's office getting coached up and getting some extra details. And I said, hey, listen, you can play both ways. It don't matter. You know, you know but he, you know, he's, a, he's a player on offense right now, and, and that's where he'll, he'll stay right now. Pickett was resilient. Your defense was resilient with him in those last two. Uh, yeah, they were. Session. You know, they were, but they had to be. You know, they had to bow up and make some plays and, and uh, you know, give credit to the defense coaches, at least in the fourth quarter, of adjusting it out and trying to fix. Um, again, they're, you know, they're, they started off lining up in a ton of empty. I mean, they didn't even think about running it, and they did that for two straight series. So they got our kids thinking, you know, empty and dink, 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 dink you to death. And, um, and then all of a sudden, you know, then the next series they come out and run it down your throat. And, um, you know, just, you know, we just, we just didn't do a good job. We just didn't play very good on defense. So. Plain and simple, we didn't tackle very well. Zeiss has got the guy wrapped up in the backfield, you know, early in the third drive, I believe, and then lets him go for 10 yards. It's just, that's not us, which is okay. I love to win and play awful on one side of the ball, and that's really what it was. How were they able to get so much open in the slot and into the tight end against you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's just matchups. I mean, they, you know, they like to work those two inside guys, and TJ's a, he's a heck of a football player, and then, you know, the tight end's going to, you know, body you up, and, you know, they're playing, you know, it's just playing, you know, playing pitch and catch out there. It's hard. You know, we dropped off guys and we didn't make plays. I mean, we tried to do it against Syracuse and we got a pick out of Amir Watts and we had some different stuff in. We just, you know, we just, you know, they did a better job than we did. Give them, give, the, give due credit. That's a good football team. And how big of a boost was that 54 yarder by Kessman? Ooh, Jeff, it was a, it was a big one, another big one. Um, you know, and again, you, you think about, you know, kicker's mentality. Uh, where he was two weeks, you know, three weeks ago, I guess, here at home against Syracuse, and then where he was two weeks ago, and then having to live with that for, you know, for an open, you know, an open week, and and then going to this game week, and you know, it's funny, you know, at the beginning of the second half, I I asked him, say, which way do you want to kick, and he said, I want to kick, you know, towards where, you know, towards, uh, I guess, our tunnel, and then he goes, whoa, 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 coach, he says, I want to kick the other way, so in the fourth quarter, I kicked the game winner going that way, and I was like, okay, and uh, I guess it wasn't a game winner, but it was a pretty good one. Have a game like a win like today, a, a win like the one against Syracuse. I, I don't think there's been an easy win for Pitt this season. Uh, I'm sure you prefer a blowout, but at the same time, do games like this build the character of this team going forward? It does. I mean, you'd like a blowout, but you know, I told our guys before the game, Duke is not coming to Pittsburgh. They didn't fly in here, jump at a hotel, and, and you know, and, and to come in here and get their butts kicked. They didn't. They're going to come. I said, I told the guys before pregame. I said, Hey, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be adversity, and it ain't going to be easy. I'm just telling you right now. And our kids felt pretty confident, I think, going into the game. Um, but I, you know, I just want to make sure. I, you know, you know, I said, hey, listen, it ain't going to be easy. I mean, Duke's a well-coached football team. Uh, they're a good football team, and, and you know, and it wasn't going to be easy. So yeah, it does build character. I think anytime you, you know, uh, it's easy to go blow people out and and be better than everybody for four quarters. But you know, it's tight games like this where our guys continue to believe all the way to the end. And I thought we played, you know, an outstanding fourth quarter. You know, as a team, and I think we played you know really good offensively the entire game. Pat, does a guy like Cadre open up your playbook on third and long situations? Seeing that it just seems like it's so easy for him to take a shot, take another shot, and still get downfield. Yeah, I mean, no doubt. I think you know, um, you know, there's no no doubt about it. Yeah. I know you don't care about stuff like this, but do you know you're half game out of first place? I don't care. We're one to zero in the ACC today. And tomorrow we go back to work about 7 a.m. And, and work on Virginia on a short week and uh, try to be 1-0 again.